oscillation now now we are going to discuss about uh, oscillations and uh, for this oscillations in our daily life we can observe different types of motions that is a uh, rectilinear motion and also curvilinear motions here not only this rectilinear motion and curvilinear motions now we have another types of motion also for example if we observe a child swinging on a swing or if we observe a boat tossing up and down in the river if a boat is traveling in the river then the tossing of boat up and down in the river or if we observe the piston if we observe the piston of the boat that is in the back forth motion back and forth motion here this uh, back forth motion or this uh, up and down motion or if we observe the pendulum of a wall clock if you observe the pendulum of a wall clock that is also this pendulum of a wall clock it is moving in the to and fro motion here if we observe these types of motions these types of motions here in these motions the motion of an object is repeating again the motion of an object is repeating again here for this this type of motion is called periodic motion periodic motion here periodic motion means a motion which repeats itself in a regular intervals of time a motion which repeats in a regular intervals of time here if we observe this any types of motion the child swinging in a swinging on a swing or if we observe the the motion of the piston the motion of the piston back and forth and if we observe the pendulum of a wall clock this is also about this uh, mean position this is called uh, equilibrium position or mean position about this mean position or equilibrium position the motion of an object is uh, repeating again and again in the regular intervals of time here periodic motion means a motion which repeats itself in a regular intervals of time and uh, in this periodic motion there are uh, uh, again we have oscillatory motion here oscillatory motion means an object which moves back and forth or up and down motion or to and fro motion here if an object is moving back and forth up and down or to and fro motion about the mean position then it is called then it is said to be in the oscillatory motion here if we observe the string of a violin the violin string or if we observe the guitar string here this guitar string and violin string makes the vibrations these makes the vibrations and the vibrations of the guitar or vibrations of the violin string is also the oscillatory motions and the vibrations of molecules of the air here the sound travels in the air when it is traveling in the air the vibrations of the molecules the molecules are vibrating that is also belongs to oscillatory motion here we have different types of the examples also and uh, the if we observe this uh, oscillatory and vibratory motion here for the vibratory motion for the vibratory motion here the frequency the frequency of vibration is uh, more if the frequency of oscillation is more then it is said to be vibration if the frequency of if the frequency of an object is more then it is called a vibration if the frequency is less then it is said to be oscillation if the frequency is less then it is said to be oscillation this is the main difference of the vibratory motion and oscillatory motion here in this oscillatory motion 
here in this oscillatory motion for example if we observe a insect if we observe an insect which ramps up and uh, falls down here an insect is ramp on a ramping and uh, falls down then the motion of an insect is if you take the distance along y axis and the time along x axis then the motion of the insect on a ramp and uh, falls down this is the graph between the distance and time of an insect and uh, here after some time here the motion is again repeating after this time again the motion is repeated here this motion is repeating and one more example a child here a child is climbing a child is climbing up and again comes down here the motion of a child is climbing and uh, comes down this is also the, the graph between distance and time then it is like a here after some time the motion of the child is climbing and falls down is again repeating after the time this is called a time period and also if we observe the motion of the bouncing a ball if we observe the motion of a bouncing a ball then here the motion of the bouncing of a ball is also repeating here this is the when the ball comes down and uh, when the balls moves in the upward direction then the graph between distance and uh, time which gives a uh, this graph and uh, from here to here this is the time period and uh, after completing this period after completing this period the motion of the bouncing ball is again repeating in the same manner it is called a periodic motion periodic motion means a motion which repeats in a regular intervals of time and uh, the time taken to repeat this type of motion the time taken to repeat this uh, periodic motion is called time period time period the period the time is taken by the an object to repeat this type of motion is called time period see here if we observe an insect ramp up and uh, falls down the motion of this insect is along this direction here if we observe the graph then the motion of the insect is repeating after certain time and if we observe the child is climbing and falls and comes down then this is along this direction and after completion of this time again the motion is repeating if you observe the bouncing of a ball then the motion of bouncing of a ball is repeating after certain time that is called a time period the time taken to repeat the same type of motion is called time period and the time period we have formula time period t is equal to the time period t is equal to 2 pi by omega here omega is called uh, angular frequency and this omega is called angular frequency and the unit for time period is second and the unit for time period is seconds here if we observe and uh, the frequency 